Mabuhay Manila, you got Drew here and we're pitting two fan favorites against each other. This time, this is the phone off between the Samsung Galaxy J7 Prime versus the Oppo F1s. The J7 Prime is clad in metal all around with plastic top and bottom caps to make way for signal perception. It's smooth and cool to the touch, nothing much else is present apart from the flushed camera with dual tone LED flash. The backing rounds out to the front to meet the Gorilla Glass protection. The chin houses the home button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner flanked by two capacitive navigation keys. The power button is on the right side and above it is the speaker grill. On the other side are the volume rocker, a SIM card tray for the primary SIM, and another card tray for the secondary SIM and the micro SD. Finally, the 3.5mm headphone jack and micro USB port are located at the bottom. The Oppo F1s shares similar qualities apart from the camera being flush to the left. Like the contender, the F1s is also clad in metal with plastic caps for the bottom and top portions for the back. The design rounds out to the front to meet the Gorilla Glass protection. The chin houses the home button that functions as a fingerprint scanner along with two backlit capacitive keys. Underneath the glass panel is the selfie camera, the earpiece, and the ambient proximity sensor. Both our contenders will be coming in at 5.5 inches for the display size with Gorilla Glass protection. The J7 Prime uses a 1080p PLS TFT panel and the F1S uses a 720p IPS LCD panel. Pixel count here is a huge difference at 401 and 267 pixels per inch respectively. Despite the 720p resolution, colors are more vibrant and show brighter whites on the panel for the F1S while the J7 Prime provides better accuracy on color reproduction overall. However, the J7 Primes pull ahead with crispier details on the screen. Using both phones in broad daylight would be no problem here. The J7 Prime lacks the ambient light sensor so manually adjusting its brightness is required. By a margin, the J7 Prime wins this one. Both main shooters of either contenders are at set at 13 megapixels with f1.9 for the J7 Prime and f2.2 for the F1S. Outdoor shots were handled well with the J7 Prime resulting in vivid colors and better sharpness compared to the natural colors and smoother image processing of the F1S. However, the J7 Prime struggled to find bright balance in another shot. Indoor shooting made no difference with the J7 Prime providing a washed out photo. Low light shooting favored the F1S when it comes to details but with pale colors compared to the smooth yet lively image of the J7 Prime. A little aid from its own flash will give the J7 Prime a natural and detailed photo while the F1S resulted to smoother details with a reddish hue. Night shooting was a struggle for both as F1S showed some noticeable grains while the J7 Prime provided underexposed images. The 16 megapixel f2.0 selfie camera of the F1S pulls ahead with better color reproduction and crispier details overall compared to the 8 megapixel f1.9 version of the J7 Prime. Both main shooters of our containers can record up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. The J7 Prime video processing was washed out while the F1S did well in overall quality. A steady hand or a tripod will be required should you wish to reduce the shakiness of the video. It was a very close car for the camera of our contenders but the F1S will be taking this one with a very slight lead. The J7 Prime is being powered by Samsung Exynos 7870 set at 1.6GHz octa-core CPU while the F1S will be utilizing the MediaTek MT6750 1.5GHz octa-core CPU as well. The two are paired with 3GB of RAM. The J7 Prime is running on Android Marshmallow with TouchWiz UI on top while the F1S is still Android Lollipop with Color OS. And to do benchmark scores were close with the J7 Prime picking up 43,000 points while the F1S with about 41,000 points. Real world performance was also close with the J7 Prime opening applications a tad faster but overall navigation of both was handled well with ease. Lags are expected but very minimal. Fingerprint recognition was accurate with an average of 8 out of 10 tries for the two. However, the F1S was able to unlock the device much faster by a small margin. The F1S wins this one. The 3300mAh battery pack of the J7 Prime lasts longer with about 32 hours of standby time, garnering 5 hours of screen on time. 
compared to the 3,075 mAh battery of the F1S that lasted 31 hours, an hour shy from the J7 Prime, which gave us 4.5 hours of screen on time. Support for quick charge is absent in both, clocking in at 2 hours and 20 minutes of charging from 0 to 100%. The J7 Prime wins this one. The mono speaker of the two are on par with one another when it comes to quality. It only differs when it comes to the intensity of the F1S that comes out of the top despite its single bottom firing speaker. However, the placement of the speaker on the side for the J7 Prime will aid you in watching or playing games in landscape mode. The F1S wins this one. The Samsung J7 Prime will be priced at 13,990 pesos or about 281 US dollars while the Oppo F1S is currently retailing at 12,990 pesos or 261 US dollars. The Oppo F1S is still a good choice if you're looking to up in the selfie game and despite its outdated software, it still provides good performance for casual use. However, if you're looking for a better design with a premium feel that includes a 1080p display, which is standard nowadays for smartphones, then the J7 Prime is worth the buy, especially if you spend more time watching videos on your device. What do you think of our contenders this round? Let us know in the comment section below. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. For the latest in tech, keep it locked in on manilashaker.com. Once again, this has been Drew. Mabuhay, Manila.